In this tutorial, we are going to talk about uh, set builder notation. So, what is a set builder notation? So, a set builder notation is just basically a mathematical notation of describing a set by listing its element. Okay, for example, let's say you have been given a set. Okay, then they give us a set, let's say we have the elements 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Okay, so we do know that um, these numbers from 0 all the way to we don't know. These are what we are going to call uh, the whole numbers since we are starting from 0. Okay, so let's say we have also another set which is. Um, Let's say we have another set which is um also here let me just end on um let me just end on um I want us to end on um so then let's have also one two three then four let's end there okay we have one. this is set A let's say this is set B let's have set C so set C, we know that this is going to, to be whole numbers. Whole numbers. Since we're starting from 0, this is going to be the natural numbers from, from 1. So let's have integers. Let's say we have the set which is starting maybe from negative 2. Okay. We have negative 2. Then we have um, neg 1. 0, 1, 2. Okay. So we have um, these are going to be our integers. So I'm going to end on 2. Now, how do we represent this using a set builder notation? Okay. So that is going to be very much easy for us because we know that um, we are starting from. We are starting from 0, okay? We are starting from 0, but 0 is included in this set, all the way to 6, okay? So what I'm going to say now is, uh, I'll start with set A. I'm going to say that uh, x is a member of what? The whole numbers. So whole number is represented by is represented by uh, W, so it is a, mem a member of what whole number. So what we need to understand is that we are starting from zero, all the way to six. So we are going to say that zero is less than or equal to x. Then this x is less than or equal to what six. Okay. So what it means here is that we are starting from zero all the way to 6. So these numbers these numbers are supposed to be whole numbers from 0 all the way to 6. Okay? So these numbers are supposed to be the member of what? If you want you can present it in this form. You say it's going to be x is such that we're starting from 0 0 all the way to less than or equal to x then less than or equal to what? 6. Then these are supposed to be x is a member of what? The whole number. Now what it means there is that when I say 0 less than or equal to x, less than or equal to x then less than or equal to 6. What it means here is that let's forget about this for now. Okay, let's focus on this. 0 less than. So I have 0 less than or equal to x. This is the same as x is greater than or equal to 0. It is the same. So what it means here is that this x has to be greater than 0 or equal to 0, meaning starting from 0. Now, from there, we need to end on what? We are saying that x, but x has to be less than or equal to 6, meaning we are ending on 6. Okay. So, what we have to understand is that set builder notation, it can also help us. You can come from set builder notation and list the what? 
the element. Now, set beta notation, there's a relationship between set beta notation and set interval notation. So, let's say we have, we have this. Okay, let's say we have um, a set interval notation. So we do know that whenever we're talking about a set interval notation, we're talking about the range of values. So the range of numbers. For example, let's say we have negative 2 all the way to 4. Meaning that what it means here is that 2, negative 2 is not included in this set. Also 4 is not included. Okay? So now, since whenever we are considering the set, the set interval notation, we are considering to say these numbers in, they are going to be real numbers. So for you to write this in set builder notation is going to be you write this x is such that you start from negative 2. Okay, this negative 2 has to be less than or equal to x, but this x is not supposed to be less than or equal to because it is not included, so it's going to be less than. It's supposed to be less than x. Then this x has to be less than what? Less than 4. But at the same time, this x has to be the member of real numbers. As simple as that. So now, what it means there, we have this. So now, for us to focus, it's the same as just saying x is greater than what? x is greater than negative 2. This is just the same. At the same time, x is less than what? 4. As simple as that. So now, let's say we have we have a set builder notation, then we want to come from set builder notation to set interval notation. Let's say we have um, we have this x is such that x is less than or equal to 4 x is a member of real numbers so whenever we are saying x is less than 4 meaning that these values of x can go all the way up to, to ne negative infinity so it's going to be negative infinity comma 4 but 4 has to be included because it is less than or equal to Okay. At the same time, they can give us um, zero all the way. Maybe let's say we have um, uh, four all the way to positive infinity. Four is included. Now, to put this one in set builder notation is going to be x is such that x has to be greater than or equal to four. But at the same time, this x has to be a member of real numbers. So set builder notation is also helping us to know the numbers which we are going to have. Okay, let's have uh, two more examples. Let's say we have we have two included all the way to ten, also included. We need to write this in set builder notation. So to write this in set builder notation, we are going to say that x is such that we are starting from two, but two is included, so two is less than or equal to x. So in short, we are talking about we are saying that x is greater than or equal to two. At the same time, this x has to be less than or equal to what? 10. But x has to be a member of real numbers. As simple as that. Okay? Now, let's say we have um, we have 2, let's say 3, comma 11. 11 included. Go ahead and write this in set builder notation. Okay? So this is going to be, we put this x is such that we are starting from 3 L less than or equal to x which is same as greater than x so 3 is greater than x is greater than 3 then it has to be so it's supposed to be greater than and not t because it is not included okay but this is going to be less than or equal to 11 but x has to be a member of real numbers as simple as that now let's say we have got a different set Okay. Let's say we have a different set. So let's say we have our set, which is um. Let's say our set is one, three, five, seven, all the way to nine. So what set is this? This is odd number. These are odd numbers. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. These are odd numbers. 
Okay. Now, how can we write this in set builder notation? So odd number is represented by the symbol capital N. Okay. So now what are we going to say? So what we're going to say here is going to be simple and straightforward. Okay. So we are going to say that we have um, this set is uh, for odd numbers. So we're going to say that X we're going to say that uh, x is such that uh, we are starting from we can say that 0 is less than x okay at the same time this has to be less than what uh, we are going to put 11 okay so we, we we have put 11 at the same time we are going to say that uh, this is a member of what this is a member of what this is a member of uh, x has to be a member of what uh, um boy what are the number one three five seven nine in my old day but I've never nine upper which new prime yeah oh so we do you do this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yes, it's odd number. Mm. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we are saying that this is um one three five seven nine, these are odd numbers. If I exp if we, we remove nine it's going to be prime numbers, okay? So we are saying that x is such that zero is less than x, then x has to be less than eleven. But x has to be a member of what? Odd numbers. Okay? Then we are done. So now, it is very, very important for us to know that this the set we are dealing with, is it odd number, prime number, natural numbers, or whole numbers? For example, let's say we have a set which is um, a set of prime numbers. So what are prime numbers? Prime numbers, these are numbers which have got... I've got two factors, one and itself. For example, if we talk of one, three, um, five, seven, eleven, these are prime numbers, okay? Okay, so nine is not a prime number. The reason is very simple. Nine is not a prime number because it has got three factors. It has got one, three, and nine. So it has got three factors. But we're saying that a prime number is a number which has got two factors, one and itself. So to write this one in set builder notation is going to be x is such that we are starting from one. Okay? So if we want we can say zero, we can start from zero. Okay, less than x. Then x has to be less than what? X has to be less than what? Uh thirteen. We can put it in this way. So if we write this, then we say that x is a member of what? Prime numbers. It's a member of prime. Now, when you're coming from here, you want to write it down. You want to list the element of sets. You are going to know that since we, we know that sometimes you can't be confused to say, what if I think to say this is a odd numbers? No, since we are saying that x is a member of prime numbers, meaning these are prime numbers. Okay? So now, let's say we have set builder notation. We want to come from set builder notation. Let's say we have um, negative 1 is less than x. Then this x is less than what? Let's say 9. Okay? Then x is a member of whole numbers. Okay? So what it means there is that if you were to list this, the element which you are going to have, it's going to be 0. Since this is greater than negative 1, meaning you're starting from 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Oh, 9 is not included because it is less than. Unless if this was less than or equal to, then you would have included what? The 9. But since it was less than, we need to end on what? 8. So those are going to be the whole numbers. So this is what we need to understand. And this is what we need to know at the same time for what? Uh, set video notation. It is very, very important for you to know set video notation. Okay. 
So now we'll continue from there again. We are saying that um, what if they ask you a question to say, relate each interval set in set builder notation. Okay. So let's say you have the first one. Maybe they give you negative 10, not included. Then 10 is included. So if we were to relate this one in set builder notation, we know that it's going to be x is such that this x is, is supposed to start is, is starting from negative 10 then this has to be less than x okay then x has to be less than or equal to 10 so we need to know that these numbers are supposed to be the real numbers as simple as that so now we are coming from set interval notation or the way to what set builder notation okay now let's say we have another one which is um, 4, which is included, 4 is included all the way to what? To 9. Okay? So 9 is also included. So to relate this, this is what we call the set interval notation. Okay? This is an interval notation. So we're coming from set interval notation all the way to set builder notation. So this is going to be x is such that x, uh, we are setting from 4. Okay? So 4 is less than or equal to x. At the same time, x has to be less than or equal to what? 9. Okay? Then x has to be a member of real numbers. As simple as that. So now, what it means here is simple. Like I said, we have 4 less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 9. If we are to get only this part here, this is the same as x is greater than or equal to 4. Then this part only again is x is less than or equal to 9, which is true. Because as we can see from the set interval notation here, we have x is greater than greater than or equal to 4. We are starting from 4. Then x is less than 9. Less than or equal to 9. Okay. So now go ahead and uh, relate this in set builder notation. Let's say we have negative 5 all the way to 6. Okay. So relate this in set builder notation. You can pause the video and write it. Okay, so this is going to be x is such that negative 5 less than or less than because it is not included less than x then again less than what is 6. At the same time x has to be a member of real numbers. Okay, now let's do the last one. Let's say we have a 0 included all the way to positive infinity. Now go ahead and write this in set builder notation. So this is going to be x is such that this x has to be greater than or equal to 0. At the same time, x has to be a member of real numbers. Since we know that when we say x is greater than or equal to, we are setting from 0 all the way to positive infinity. Okay. 